Well, speaking of, uh, there's somebody else that could uh, enter that tournament because they're they're unemployed from their previous occupation. Brian, Camille is a, apparently a free agent now because Tony Schiavone brought her and Mercedes Moon out to do an interview, and Mercedes started talking, and the fans were groaning. It wasn't like, boo, we hate you. It was like, oh, God, please don't talk anymore. Jesus Christ, is f***ing dribble. And then that's where the statistic was revealed to me that Mercedes and Statlander was the longest women's match in AEW history, and I guarantee you Tony Khan came up with that one. And it felt like every bit of it, too. And... <sighs> Mercedes did the scripted stuff and then turned around and started to fire Camille. But Camille said, shut up and got a huge pop. Everybody has been wanting this mush mouthed imbecile to shut the fuck up. So points for that. But Camille says, are you stupid? You can't fire me because I quit. And she walked off and left. That's it? That's the thing. In under three months, she came in as a dominant female bodyguard you weren't going to want to fuck with. And then she's been beaten and woman-handled and turned into a flunky. And then on the verge of being fired, she bows up and says, I quit. And there was no, and she didn't beat up Mercedes, or there was no split, there was no breakup. It was like, fuck you, well, fuck you. And that's it. What the f what was the meaning of all of this? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, there's no good answer to that because I don't know if it's been well thought out if this was the Mercedes Monet Pepper Day booking committee, because I've never seen the eventual baby face turn of the bodyguard <laughs> character bungled like this <laughs> as fast as this. You say they brought her in as the big muscle bodyguard. She never even got established as that. They immediately no. went right to the fact that she was like a bumbling idiot for Mercedes doing her scripted promos, hurt her arm week after week, became a running gag on the show with Statlander. They missed like, it's like it's like they know what they want to do. Like, oh, I want to do something like when Diesel turned on Sean finally and people were ready for him. And then he won the title from Backland. You know, everyone was ready for it. But they have no idea like how one thing got to another and nothing is timed. Like, like you said, I quit. And she just turns around and walks away. Yeah, yeah, I'll show her. What the fuck? You'll have to carry your own bags now. I got even with you. At least slap her. Like something so that like there's a reason that she demands a match or that a match. I don't know. They do nothing right. They do nothing. Are they going to, when Camille is apparently she's hurt, when, when she's okay, are they going to have a match or is that just all forgotten? Oh, they can't do that. Or she quits it and she actually really does go home for a while so you forget all about her completely. It should, then is she going to manage somebody else against or bodyguard? How can she bodyguard him by one fucking arm? Jesus Christ. 